So what we're going to do here is um, I'm going to do some rearranging of the Himdor, putting everything back in. I've got another box, which I just bought. I haven't told James yet. Holy I, cow, look at all these boxes. I bought a box of uh, the Davidoff, uh, uh, what is it, 2004 Wagners. Wagners? Yeah, so all the tobacco is over 10 years old, supposedly, and, and there's a whole list of it. Yeah, do some research on it. I did, and they, uh, I think it was Smoke In just came out with them, that they have some in stock. There was only 400 boxes or something so I grabbed uh, 10 of them there's Simone really nice looking cigar so I did order them there should be coming this week so you'll maybe get a video of it I got I the mean, year of the rooster a brand new box I like Davidoff products and these uh, this this uh, whatever you want to call it the uh, Chinese calendar uh, cigars that they put the blend that they use for that is phenomenal it tastes like nothing else and you know you yeah you got to have some uh, some capital to uh, <laughs> to invest in them, but uh, I'm telling you, they're they're fabulous. So this is obviously a special occasion smoke. I'm getting some age on these, I like that. A monkey. I have some monkeys. I have some sheep. So I was picking up some of them. I didn't buy the dog. I just I like the for that. I mean that's a long smoke. So is the monkey. Hour and a half. Uh, the sheep. Hour and a half. Close to an hour and a half. Also the Opus Six. Um, bought that. A couple years back, haven't had any out of it yet, so this is one I can empty out. Those Fuentes, Opus X, yeah, Opus X, Super Belly X, the Coaba. That's a beautiful cigar, and this thing is like seven years old, and it looks man. An old friend of mine and I had one of these maybe six years ago and he bought me an extra one for I think it was for my birthday a gray cliff but this one was phenomenal all right so explain your shelving system yeah here. I'm, tr I'm trying to figure this out as I go I'm trying to get put some loose up here but um, what the way I have it uh, arranged right now even though uh, it's not perfect is I have padrones uh, the okay. darker cigars padrone ashens yes I know I've got a padrone a uh, I love that cigar. Yeah, it's a good cigar. It's lighter though, but I, only because I have Padrones here. But I also have, way down in here, I have, these are all Padrones. So I should probably put them up here because I do need to clear these shells off. Well, these are the 40th, 80th. Um, yeah, throw those up there too. Yeah, another 40th. These all have a lot of age. I mean, these are all really well aged. They're so like the 50th, seven. The 40th, and 80th? Yeah, a couple 80ths, a couple 340ths. So I think I'll put those up the top. What I, the way I have it set up, and I think James wanted me to explain this, is I have the darker ones here, because these I would have like with an espresso martini. I love them with espresso martini. Um, a stout, uh, anything heavier that can stand up to it. That's what these, these are. These are obviously ones I'm trying to age, get some age on them. This is my Davidoff shelf right here. Um, I love Davidoff products. Uh, there's only one that I didn't like and that was the gold band. Didn't care for that. Um, these are kind of a little bit lesser, nicer. I have uh, a lot of Maximus, you know. This, um, Camacho shell back. Oh, here, there you go. We were talking about these. I got a few of these, the Jekylls. That was this year's. I haven't smoked one yet. I got three of them in there. And yes, I know every cigar I have pretty much. Uh, a little bit lesser, uh, smaller cigars, but a little bit lesser uh, quality, um, you know, go-to everyday type of thing. My father's, um, Padilla, uh, Cavaliers, uh, Epernay, that's the last one I have, that thing I've had probably eight years. Um, so, that's how I have it arranged, and then a little bit lesser, although this should go over here, the Oro, the original Oro, which won some awards. But these are, you know, Caesar, Decades, um, Alec Bradley. Yeah, so these can stay here. There's a Miliano there. Uh, that probably should be maybe moved over to that one. So if I'm going to give somebody a smoke, for example, and they don't know much about cigars, so I don't want you to people to take this wrong because last time I did something like this I think I got a little feedback <laughs> um, a little negative feedback no. but I'm actually pretty generous with my smokes um, 
but if they don't know much about cigars, I'm not going to give them a Rooster, for example, or a uh, Atabi or anything like that. I'm not going to do that. I'll give them, if they want a cigar, I'll go from this shelf, or if they never have more knowledge, I'll go from this shelf, you know, that type of thing. So, anyhow. What about, what's that last drawer? This is Cubans? the Cubans that I have, yeah. We were in uh, Chile one year, and uh, we went to one of the uh, Casa de Abanos there. At, at, I think it was close to the airport where we were waiting or no it wasn't no it was in Santiago I think anyhow uh, picked up some stuff that I can't normally uh, get online for Cubans uh, this is one for example of the Cuaba the Adium oh my that's huge Adios. Upman mm, this is little gut <laughs> that was supposed to be for Wendy what? That Monte tiny. Cristo. Yeah. It was like a number. T what is it? Number uh, I don't know what size. Number it was. zero. Was number zero. She picked it out. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Bolivar. Nice one. Just stuff you can't normally find. Different sizes. And, and then so down here you got Drew Estates. Yeah, I got to figure out a spot for them. Unico series stuff and Cravada yeah. stuff. Yeah. So I'm just trying to work my way. So bear with me on it. Um, and then we'll figure out all this. Yeah. My father, Bijou's in coffins. Very cool. Yeah, they're all individual. These are the reserves. That is so cool. A little heavier. I think they're heavier than the other ones. Uh, just the standard ones that are not in the coffin. Because I had a friend over and he brought me one of the same size, the Bijou, outside of a coffin. And it may have been the same cigar. I don't know. But within these 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 were the limited reserve bijous same size but he smoked one of these and he goes it was so much stronger than the one that he brought over so i gave him one obviously that's why there's one missing all right what you got i got i bought these this year a friend of mine picked them up from the arturo fuente event at holtz in philly he lives there and i asked him to get me some of the uh, destinos same as those Churchills I showed you earlier. These are great. I've had them before. I've had the Churchill. That's the double Robusto. Robusto Extra. And this is their um, Toro. Looks that? like the same size to me. Let's see. Pretty close. Pretty darn close. Toro's a little smaller than the Robusto Extra. These are hard. You can't get them anymore. I can't find them anywhere online. Anything. The Padilla. Vintage Reserve in this size right there. What size is that? Uh, the Belly Box Press. Beautiful cigar. Great cigar. About $15, $16, $17. But now it's probably worth a lot more because you can't get them. I said I'm going to put these Gray Cliffs over with my Cubans because I'm not going to smoke these a lot. I've been aging these forever. Can't get them anymore, especially the Shags, the Presidentes. Can't get them. Um, so I'm going to put these over here on top of the Cubans. I hate doing that in a way, but I don't have enough room. Life is tough, isn't it? <laughs> these are nice. These were Grey Cliffs. These were made for the, um, the members of the Grey Cliff Hotel. And it was a special tobacco they formulated, and they're outstanding. I can't get these anymore either. Yeah, so I used to get them on cigar bid for like, I don't know, Ten, maybe nine dollars, eight dollars, something like that. And now, forget about it. Yeah, I guess, I guess people learned. Uh, now, Fuentes. Hey, you got a shark there. Yeah, I got a bunch of those. I've been picking them up as I can find them. Oh, you know, these are the um, seven seven sevens. And then these are all Opuses, Lost City. I feel like you just see the whole shelf just for opus or for well, and that's why i cleared out where these are here i'm going to go like this and put my fuente products right in there the loose fuentes and then there's the discussion about <clears throat> to leave or not to leave wrappers on these things what do you think i'd say leave it all the time Leave them on. The cellophane? Old one there. 2007, 8. Casa Fuente. Huh. Had that a long time. 
And I have a box of Casa Fuentes somewhere in here. There. Oh, these are Don Carlos. I had one the other day. Very good. These are 2008. Delicious. Wow. Kind of putting the ones that I don't smoke as much down at the bottom. <clears throat> the ones that I do. I think that's the way I'm going to go with it. And there you go. Look at There's the difference. See how light that wrapper is compared to the other ones I showed you? Yeah. That's their 2015. Huh. Outstanding. These I didn't care for. Right here. Camacho Liberty Series. I think this is it. A little bit of a little plume on that one. 2015 Camacho, yeah. But I, it was a different one that I had. This looks like a pretty good one. Of course, if you can tell by looks, but mm. I have, I have, I have a belief that you can tell how a cigar is going to be a little bit by looking at it. So what's the Schrader? Like I said, I was telling you, I don't think that I wasn't too pleased with uh, the last time I smoked one of those. Yeah. And I bought another box because the first box I had, I, I, I liked them, but the, and it could be partially because of the temperature and all that going on. So I'll give it another, I'll be open-minded. These are really awesome little fine Futuro. Uh, there is a place that carries them. They're really, really good. I love them. Um, so we'll put those, actually, put those on top of the Davidoffs. And then we got these Ashtons. Oh, and the ESGs like those too, a lot. Uh, State grown, that's an old one. Look at the wrapper in that. Oh, Been okay. around a while. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Three different sizes here. And these. Put it up here. Where did I put the other Destinos? Oh, that was a box. So I'm going to put these also right there with the Padrones. That's a really good smoke. If you ever come across one, try it. It's really good. So we just moved Michael's high. Uh, blah, blah. <laughs> Humidor. So now we are full. And I've got some room. In the humidor. Oh, I'm getting over here. Sorry about that. Oh, Destinos can't. <laughs> Woo! Go like that. Oh, it's open shut. Explain this is. Uh, careful, Mike. 